We're waiting for that uh, jobs report and a lot of other economic news, but a big thing we're following today is that forecast. Absolutely, and it's going to be a dicey one, Michael. Yeah, it certainly will. Into the afternoon and evening, the threat for severe weather will be increasing across green country between about 2 o'clock and 9 o'clock. Now for Tulsa, we're probably looking between about 2 o'clock and 6 o'clock, and it may take until about 8 or 9 o'clock uh, for the storms to clear eastern Oklahoma and to completely move into Arkansas and Missouri. But here's what we've got as far as our possible impacts. I think wind gusts 60 to 70 miles per hour certainly will be possible with some of these storms. There will be some tornado potential as well. We've got a lot of wind shear ahead of this uh, front that will be moving in producing these storms. And what the wind shear is, is you step outside this morning, you feel that south breeze. Well, as you go up with in height through the atmosphere, the wind becomes more southwesterly and it also gets stronger. So you've got strong directional shear and strong speed shear that helps get these storms to rotate. So that is part of the concern today as well. And then the flooding potential on the lower end of the scale, but with some locally heavy rain, we may get some localized flooding concerns, but I'm not expecting widespread flooding issues and hail uh, a little bit less of a, a concern, but some of the stronger storms, maybe up into that marginal severe category, maybe three quarters to an inch in diameter hail. Now through the morning hours, we're looking at a few spotty showers out there this morning. We'll go isolated to scattered uh, across the area, a bit more scattered as you go farther north and west. So nothing too crazy as you're heading out the door this morning. Once we start getting into the afternoon, that front starts to inch a little bit closer. We get more lift to the atmosphere. We're going to notice storms bubbling up pretty scattered to widespread across much of the region as we go into this afternoon hours. And again, Tulsa's window between about two and six o'clock. And then once we get past six o'clock, we'll notice that main threat for storms pushing farther to the east. And it may take until eight or even nine o'clock tonight before all the storms finally clear eastern Oklahoma. So for those of you here, uh, Grove and Grand Lake, Tahlequah, Westville, your threat's going to last a little bit longer into the evening hours. Uh, again, maybe to that 8 o'clock time frame, whereas Tulsa, that threat should begin to wind down by 6 o'clock. And then definitely even before then, as you go to the west of Tulsa from Bristow to Stillwater to Pawnee, that threat will be over with probably by mid-afternoon. So that's what we're watching as we go throughout the day. Now at the moment, things are fairly quiet. We've got a few light showers out there. Nothing too crazy as you're heading out the door. But if you get a few raindrops, certainly a possibility. You can see already seeing storms out here to the north and west. Now here's our cold front. It's just come through Wichita. It is 46 degrees right now in Wichita. Very cold where we are in the 70s out ahead of that front. And when you can see that cooler air moving in, it's really cool because you can actually watch what's happening here. That cooler air is kind of cutting underneath the warmer air that we have in place and you're getting a little bit of lift here. And that's why we're seeing these storms develop behind the front. But as that front pushes farther south and east, we'll get more storms ahead of the front into the warmer air later on today. Right now from Brookside looking right down Peoria here on the Wade's RV weather camera network. You can see our camera shaking around just a bit. That's that southerly flow, that moisture. You can feel it as you're stepping outside all that Gulf of Mexico moisture. That's going to be the fuel for those storms later today. So just stay weather aware as you go into the afternoon and evening time frame. Storms will likely develop and some of these will be strong to severe. Again, Tulsa's window pretty much winds down at, at six o'clock, but storms will be on going east of Tulsa through most of the evening should clear eastern Oklahoma by nine o'clock tonight and then the chillier air moves in. That's the other thing I mentioned. It's 46 degrees right now in Wichita by later this evening. We will be dropping into the 40s, even though we're in the 70s right now. So if you've got any Friday evening plans after these storms move out, that's something to keep in mind. That cooler air will be moving in, but it's going to give us a beautiful weekend. A little chilly tomorrow morning and then 64 and sunny tomorrow afternoon. A beautiful day Then we're back into the 70s on Sunday. We'll notice some of that moisture coming back as we go into early next week. I'm leaving a slight chance of a shower storm in the forecast from Monday and Tuesday when another cold front will drop these 70s into 50s in the 10 day forecast coming up in the next half hour.